Good evening everybody, my name is Michael Fox and welcome to my very last E3 2016 predictions video. Uh, this time we are talking about Bethesda, uh, Ubisoft, and EA. And they're going to be the, 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 the last three, well not necessarily the last to go, um, but the last thing I'm going to talk about as far as people doing press conferences. Uh, Bethesda is number one to talk about. Um, not so, uh, last year, last year we knew why Bethesda was doing uh, a... Uh, an E3 press conference. It was their first one last year, um, and we just we automatically assumed um, that they were like, oh man, they're going to talk about Fallout 4, it's going to be amazing, and then that got confirmed sometime later by the fact that they released a teaser site for Fallout 4, and then, yeah, they blew our mind holes uh, with all this really cool Fallout 4, uh, all this really cool Fallout 4 stuff, like the, um, oh god, what do you, the Collector's Edition with the, the Pip-Boy Edition, all that, just blew our minds away um, and then we we're all kind of surprised to see oh they're doing one this year um, that's interesting I wonder what they're gonna talk about some of the big rumor the big rumor on the interwebs is uh, a new Elder Scrolls game Elder Scrolls 6 I believe um, that's a pretty good possibility I don't think there's been an Elder Scrolls game for a while um, that would be another reason to do because that's like their their other massive massive franchise um, if they are going to talk about Elder Scrolls 6, can we expect them to do an as cool of a collector's edition as they did with Fallout 4? I don't know what it could be, but it's it could be epic. Hopefully it's epic. Um, I think they might show off, in my opinion, um, I think they might show off a new game of some kind, a brand new IP. Uh, I'm, I'm a sucker for new IPs, um, and that's just kind of what I generally hope for. I also think we're going to see um, some, some DLC announcements for maybe some more Fallout. Um, even though they just released Far Harbor, but I think they're going to talk more about some DLC for Fallout 4. And maybe some DLC for Doom. I don't know. We'll have to see, um, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, switching, switching over to their thing here, so I can tell you a little bit about their press conference stuff. Um, so Bethesda E3 2016 Showcase, the B3+, Plus. that was their hashtag last year. Um, save the date, June 12th at 7pm, that's uh, local Los Angeles time, so uh, PD, PDT. Pacific Standard Time um, for all you East Coast kids over there. Um, but yeah, um, I'm hoping to see some cool things from Bethesda. We'll have to see um, how that turns out in uh, next next week, two weeks, about two weeks. I think it's about ten days now. Uh, so up next is going to be Ubisoft, um, our wonderful our wonderful French game developers over there. Um, I'm not sure what to see, what we're going to see from them. Um, I'm imagining a new Assassin's Creed, maybe something that ties into the Assassin's Creed movie. Um, I have a feeling they're going to talk a lot about the Assassin's Creed movie. They could do a game tie-in, because the Assassin in the, the movie is a new Assassin, if I remember correctly, so that could go either way. Um, maybe that will give us an actual decent video game movie, movie video game. I don't, one of those, maybe one of those will be correct. I'll have to wait and find out. Um, I think we'll probably see some more Tom Clancy stuff, um, some for first person shooter type stuff, uh, which I'm not super, super gunk ho about. Um, I'm not sure what else we're gonna see from Ubisoft. Um, probably some more of their, their, um, hey daddy, what's your bonus? Yeah, hold on. Well, you can't hold on. You need to find the head. You gotta find the head. I don't know what else we're gonna see um, from Ubisoft. Um, possibly some more like friendly type stuff, like maybe like Raving Rabbids or um, the Rayman games or something. Rayman's like their kind of their mascot thing. Um, but I definitely think we're gonna see like um, some info about the Assassin's Creed movie and some tie-ins to a game with that or or something to that effect. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, some, um, switch gears one more time here for you. This is Ubisoft's website. Um, 11 days left till E3. Watch the Ubisoft press conference. Um, June 13th at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, and 8 p.m. GMT. Um, so they, hopefully they'll have some cool stuff. They don't really talk about anything. Um, they don't really talk about anything on their their website at all, so um, it's going to be interesting to see uh, what they actually talk about, because uh, it's all going to be a surprise. Um, Blaine, I swear to God, 
I swear to God. <laughs> All right, up next, up next is EA, everybody's fa favorite favorite video game company. Uh, God, I'm not sure what we're gonna see from them. Um, I have a feeling they they might try to paint themselves in a better light uh, towards towards gamers because I know they're still kind of get they still getting a bad rap. I forget nowadays. Um, I, I have a feeling they're gonna focus a lot on Origin. Um, they're uh, their PC platform that's trying to compete with Steam. Get out of here! <laughs> Give your head. Uh, so there's gonna be a little bit about that. Um, I know we're gonna see sports games because sports games are so important. Sports games are so so important. I know there's a lot. I know there's a big market for sports games out there, but like that's like the 15 or 20 minutes I just tune out the EA press conference every year. Be like, eh, sports games. I'd rather like shoot myself in the head. I think. Um, what I am hoping for is possibly a new Dead Space. I don't know, Dead Space three or four? Is it four? Yeah, it's four. So I didn't play three because um, I didn't have access to a console at the time. Um, which I probably like find a way to play it at this point. Um, I'd love to see a new Dead Space. Um, there was something else that I was going to talk about that I wanted to see. Uh, God, I forget what it was. Uh, oh, uh, Unraveled 2, hopefully. I know those indie developers are going through EA, basically, to get their game published. Um, I would love to see an Unraveled 2. I just started playing that. It is such a fantastic game, so I'd love to see information about an Unraveled 2. Um... And then maybe some new, like I'm, like I said, I'm a sucker for new IPs. So hopefully we see some new, uh, new IPs coming out of EA. Um, one thing that EA is doing differently this year, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna switch gears again here so you can see their website. Um, ooh, there we go. Um, that it's so EA. They're doing a press conference, but they're not actually putting on a. Um, they don't have a booth at E3 this year, which is like, whoa, what the hell? Um, pretty crazy but what they instead of doing that what they are doing is they're doing a an actually um an open to the public event where you can come in and it seems like try out some of the new ea games um i'm not going to be anywhere near la when e3 happens so i'm not even i'm not going to really go into the details of it for this video um but it is uh the times are the times are down here um and if you're in the la area please Please come out. Uh, please go out and check it out, um, and maybe do a video on it and like link it to me so I can I can see what actually went on there. I'm excited to see what that's all about. Um, and then you can also see down here um, their press conference will be live and online on June 12th at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, so fun, fun times. Um, I'm excited to see uh, what EA brings to brings to the table this year. Um, they always have at least one or two things good. Um, like I said, I know they mostly focus on sports games, but that's what they're known for, really. Um, so I guess I guess that's about it for this video. Um, please let me know in the comments, comments, comments. Can't say comments, right? Comments down below. Tell me what you think we're gonna see from these three developers, or what you know we're gonna see, or what you hope to see, whatever. And um, of course, uh, if you like the video, please comment, like, and subscribe. And because your viewership means a lot to me, and I'd love, I'd love to see you around more. And I love just having conversations with random people on the internet about video games. Uh, but until the next video, guys, be kind to each other, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.